All right, you guys, today I check out how to animate 3D inflated logo with stickers here in After Effects and Illustrator. Okay, so let's start in Illustrator and I'm gonna go with this text as reference and let's go and select it. Let's go to 3D materials and here we're gonna inflate it, select the inflate. We're gonna decrease the depth to zero and make sure to select inflate both sides. So now if I rotate it, it is going to look something like this. So from here, we're going to need to add the stickers and all you need to do is just select one of the stickers or vectors, vector logo, and just drag and drop it here into the 3D materials and that's it. And it's going to appear here in the graphics at the materials and just drag and drop the second one and third one and so on and so forth. And as you can see, it is going to load in every each. After we are done, you can remove these stickers. Let's go and select the text and we're going to go here to the graphics select one of the graphic, click on it. And as you can see, it is going to appear here in small. Let's go and scale it up, drag it and position it where you like. Now I'm going to go and add another one, select it, place it. For example, if you want to delete some of these, all you need to do is just go here at the properties and you can select one of the graphics. So this one is this graphic 14 and click on the bin. Or you can go and just, for example, I'm going to select one of the graphic and put it on top of this other one. And if you want to put it under, you can drag the graphic 14 under the 13. So it's pretty cool. And you also can rotate them. So let's go and speed this up. Okay, so it looks something like this. And we're going to need to repeat this step with the back side of the text. So let's go back here to the object. And we're going to scroll down and here we're going to go to the Y rotation, increase it. So it's going to flip it. And then we're going to go back to the materials and just start adding the stickers at the back side. And we're finished. Let's go back to the object and I'm going to go back, scroll down and decrease it to zero. And let's go back to the material, scroll down all the way. So here we got the base properties. And I'm also going to increase the metallic and I'm going to decrease the roughness activate the ray tracing so you're going to see how it's going to look. So I'm going to make this more reflective so I can play around with the environment light and after effects. And let's go to the asset export, click on it, make sure to select the 3D object and let's go here, click on the plus and it's going to import it right here. And let's go to the file format. You're going to need to change it up to GLTF and click on export. Now let's go to after effects, click on new composition and I'm going to go with 1080p, seven seconds, click OK. And drag and drop the GLTF file right here. Click OK. Press the letter S. And let's go and scale it up. So it's going to look something like this. I'm also going to animate it. Let's open up the layer. Select the Y rotation. Activate the stopwatch. Let's go at the end. Let's go back and type in here 1. And let's go and bring this keyframe all the way out. So if you hit play, it is going to rotate it. So after this, we're going to add some lights also. Right click here, go to new. Let's go and select light. And make sure to select environment light. Make sure to check cast shadows and click OK. And you can go here to the transform. You get the X and the Y. You can rotate it. And this way you can customize the lighting. If you want to go with some original one, you also can drag and drop some HDRI like so. I'm going to uncheck it. Now let's go here to the light option. Let's go to default and change it to studio small. If you don't have this option, you can go and click on the toggle switch here and I'm going to adjust the light, hit play and there you go.